So I will put a, a new recording here, otherwise the recorded file uh, size would be very high. So I have started a, a new recording for the travel sheet calculation, right? Because uh, these things would be uploaded for those who uh, cannot participate because it is very important, right? I will be uploading uh, the things into the LMS. Remember, this is a very, uh, very important part in the uh, surveying curriculum. Right? Okay. Now, first two parts have been uh, first. Uh, first step is done. So you have correctly entered the station and lines. And some cases we get uh, travel sheets without station or line column. You have only one column. Right? There are some travel sheets without the station column or the line column. In that case, it is okay. Still, we uh, put uh, without that particular column. Then once you say, let's say you have a travel sheet only with the station, right? So what we do, we leave a space in between station B and C. So it is something like this column is hidden. For example, let's say I hide this column. So the travel sheet looks like this. Right? The travel sheet looks like this. Then what will happen? So we have to understand the empty row in between B station B and C is for line BC. Right? We have to imagine that. It is for line BC. Same for if you don't have uh, the station column. Then you have AB and BC. In between, there's an empty row. So in between line AB and BC, you have station B. Right? It is very clear when you have uh, both. Right. Okay. Now we go for the next step. If you have anything unclear, please let me know. Right. Before we proceed further, the second step: enter the values of measured angles, lengths, and bearing. You have one bearing, four angles, and four lengths. Please enter. So where we have to enter? Observed angles are there. So angle is a, now remember these parameters, observed angle, corrected angle, bearing, length, delta I, delta N, uh, corrected delta I, delta N, and coordinates. Some of these parameters, angle, length, bearing, partial coordinates, and coordinates. Some of these parameters belong to station. Some of these parameters are belong to line, or we call line parameters and point parameters or station parameters. So you have to correctly enter the values in the correct row. It is very important. Now, for example, if you take observed angle, angle is measured at a station. So it is a station property. It is a it is a station property, so you have to correctly enter, right? You have to correctly enter the value in the respective row. So angle is a line, sorry, the station property. So you have to enter angle B. Now it is B. So you have to enter angle B there. For example, Angle B is 86, 48, 40. Right? Angle B, B is 86, 48, 40. So you have to correctly enter 86. 
48 40 similarly you can put but don't enter the b again so this last last b is for checking some other parameter only enter four angles then angle c you can enter there right likewise you can enter the four measurements Once you enter the values, it would look like this. Correctly enter. Don't start with A, even though A is at the top. In our traverse sheet, station A is at the bottom. A is at the bottom. And correctly enter the values in the respective row. Angle B is 86, 48, 40. Angle C is 86, 8, 20. 81, 16, 40. Angle A is 105, 46, 40. Is it clear? So this is the first part and then you can enter the lens. You can enter the lens also. When you enter the length, there are two AB lines at the top and the bottom. You enter the AB at the last uh, bottom row. Right? Don't enter the length of AB in the very first row. Only the whole circle bearing can be entered there. Right? So these are the row measurements. So you have four angles and four lengths. Starting with BC. These are the nine measurements in your hand. Check whether it is okay. So I have used blue color for the raw measurements, the raw data. The others I will fill in a different uh, text color so that you can differentiate the raw measurement and the calculated parts. Right? For AB, there are two AB uh, rows. The length have been entered to the last one. Right? And the bearing at the top because we have to start with the bearing. Now this is, or oh, these are the entering of raw data. Step two. Step two, enter the raw data in the correct row station. At the observed angles, lengths are the measurements and the whole circle bearing. Is it okay? Rest is the calculation, right? The standard format of the traverse sheet is known now, right? And uh, the entering of station and lines, step one. And step two, entering of the raw measurement. Please check whether you have entered the uh, correct angles, especially you will be mistaken when you start with uh, A, right? 
AB is given, SB, AB is the line with the bearing, right? And the rest, if you miss, miss one, that means at least the order, if you start with A, then all the calculations will be wrong. You will get wrong result later, you cannot check. Okay, the next one, is it okay, finish up to this, entering the raw data. Right. And then uh, step three, calculate the corrected angles. Right. Now we move to the uh, travel sheet again. Right. Now you have to correct the angles. For that, what you have to do, you draw a line here. And here put the summation. Better you draw a line, a darker line. Better we draw a line, dark line. No, that is clear. Right? And then put the summation here. You sum up all these four angles and put it. What is the summation? When you add, it will be 360, 0. 20. I've been merged. Oh, no. So when you add, it would be 360, 0, 20. Right? You add with your calculator and see whether you have uh, this summation. 
when you add it. For four naught polygon, n is four. When you divide it, there are two triangles. So the expected summation is 361, zero, zero. So the expected one is 360, zero, zero. So the error is plus 20 then. So you can subtract. You take uh, the uh, error minus this one. So you get 20 seconds ex excess. So your error is plus 20. Your angle misclosure for this example is plus 20. Then what you have to do? There are four angles equally distributed. Then the correction per angle. Correction, the entire correction is minus 20 because you have to reduce this additional 20 equally among all. So you have to reduce four, or oh, sorry, five from each angle. Therefore, your corrected angles should be 86, 48, 35. Right? So you have to reduce five seconds from each. So this will become 86, 8, 15. This will become again 35. Angles and uh, sorry, degrees and minutes remain unchanged. So it will be 81, 16. And better you add them and make sure you get 360.00. So you have to show that it is 360.00. The reason why I put it in red, this is point considered as a checkpoint. This is a check to confirm that you have correctly corrected the angles. In traverse calculations, traverse calculation evaluations, you may have marks for these checkpoints. Sometimes you will correctly uh, distribute, but you have to show that. You have to show that it is uh, correctly done. Right? There are some cases uh, which is uh, this correction is not an integer. Let's say, for example, let's say you want to distribute 10 among 3. Then correct one is 3.33 or 3.333. It's still, when you add, you don't get 360.00 because 3.3 into 3 is not 10. It is 9.9. .9. And it is not necessary to go up to decimals of uh, uh, seconds. So what you can do is, you can put 3, 3 and 4, right? Because one second, so that is a maximum uh, point, uh, three difference. Point 0.3 of a second is nothing. Point 0.1 decimal of a second, right? Therefore, not necessary, it is not necessary to go for decimals. So what you have can do is, you can correct it with the integers, but you have to ensure that entire error is recovered. For example, in the previous case, if you want to divide 10 among 3, without putting 3.3 or 3.33 or 333, you can put 33 3 and 4. You have the freedom to put 4 for any, because it is not a big error. Right? You can start or you can put it to the maximum. Right? Or randomly you can put. It doesn't matter. The final values will not change many. Right? But this confirmation is very important 
at the end you have to show that you have corrected it this 36000 which is in red color shows that it is correctly done it is a checkpoint right is it clear to this any question after this with uh, two more steps i will uh, stop for today right the allowing you to do some uh, calculation right up next is whole circle bearing so you need all the whole circle bearings the advantage of uh, going in this way right so the next step you better have this sketch also right next step is step 4 calculating the bearing right the reason why we go for anti clockwise is something like this you are in a situation like this you come on this way the first line and the second line for the first line the bearing is there so you know the first bearing so I take this as 5-1. Right? And this angle is available. Theta. So I take theta 1. This is the internal angle. And your task is to find this bearing 5-2. So we are in a situation like this, phi 1 is available, the angle at the forward is available. You are coming, let's say this is ABC, AB and from B the internal angle is known and your task is to go for BC. The green color ones are known, phi 1 is available, theta 1 is available. Phi 2 is needed. How you can do that? So what we do? We extend this line and this line. Once the two lines are extended, right? This angle is because these uh, vertical lines are north lines parallel, therefore, this yellow color one is phi 1. Right? And this angle is theta 1. So, what I get if I add phi 1 and theta 1? the two yellow colored angles. If I add, let's say I am starting from the north, then I turn by phi 1 and another theta 1, then I will be facing this direction. So this direction is, or this angle is phi 1 plus theta 1. Phi 1 plus theta 1 means this arrow direction. What is that? It is the opposite of what I need. Because this is the extended line. Right? When I add phi 1 and theta 1, phi 1 and theta 1, I get the reverse of what I need. Therefore, I can write an equation for phi 2. Phi 2 means you add phi 1 and phi, phi 1 and theta 1 and make it back bearing. Take the reverse. To take it reverse, either you add 180 or subtract 180. So I write a general equation 
plus or minus 108. Phi 2 angle is phi 1 plus theta 1, the reverse of that. Is this equation clear? So, if we are traveling in anticlockwise direction, always if you have the internal angle, phi 1 plus theta 1 is the reverse of what I need. So, I add phi 1 and theta 1 and make it back bearing. Take the reverse of that. So you see how these uh, bearings and uh, things are uh, involved in our uh, remaining calculations. Okay. Is it clear? Is this equation clear? Then come back to the uh, traverse sheet. In the traverse sheet, Shall I clear this? Right. Phi 1 and theta 1, making it and subtract or oh, add 180 will get will give us the required bearing. Then come to the traverse sheet, what you have? There are two columns. One is whole circle bearing. One is a corrected angle. And whole circle bearing. There are two columns nearby. So the first one is there. This is phi 1. If this is, let's say, BC, station C, here you have theta 1. Now your task is to find CD. So this become phi 2 then. How you have to calculate phi 2? You add this to this one plus this one plus or minus 180 will come there. You add this to plus or minus. So how you select plus or minus? First, you add this two. If phi 1 plus theta 1 is more than 180, then you add another 180. Or if that addition is more than 180, you subtract 180. First, you add this two. Right? First, you have to add phi 1 theta 1 and check whether what you have to do whether you have to use plus sign or minus sign. Then you have phi 2 and the next theta 2 is there. Then you can do the same calculation phi 2 is the known one, theta 2 is the, so you can assume this as phi 1, this as theta 1. So then you can calculate the next Likewise, you can proceed up to any number of stations. Right? So what you have to do? This one plus this one, the next bearing, the sorry, next internal angle, and make plus or minus 180. It is okay you blindly add 180 and keep a bearing something like 400, but it is not nice. But the calculations would be okay. Even if you use a bearing of 400, it is okay. The calculator is okay with it. If you want to calculate sine 400, that would be equal to sine 40. But it is not uh, uh, nice to see 
such bearings in the traverse sheet 400 500 you can uh, avoid that if you first add the two numbers and select what you have to do in first step at once if you decide add or subtract then you can correctly you can quickly get the uh, result in the correct form right now you can go for the uh, traverse sheet what you have to do is right what you have to do at this a b bearing and the angle of b right when you add this one it will be 180 something sorry uh, 120 something or 131 something then you can add an 180 and put the bearing there right so this will be 55 adding uh these two it will be 68 then then it would be eight and this one 132 132 that into 180 200 so i want to check it 200 uh, 3 to 8 850 When you calculate BC, that is 45, 20, 20 plus 86, 48, 35 plus 180, it will come as 3, 12, 8, 55. Now you imagine how it, you have a bearing of 45. 45 means the line goes like this. 45 line means it is something like this or so this BC. BC line is 45. If I take the practical situation, then 86. 86 means almost 90. So it will be something like this. CD line goes this way. So if you when you calculate the bearing, it would be in the fourth quarter more than 270 so 312 would be okay next one is another 80 so you will get a bearing for the third one in between 180 to 270 when you calculate this next angle is again uh, Right, so you can uh, keep on uh, calculating like this. Never mind how many stations you have, you can proceed and calculate the bearings for all the stations. So I allow you to do that and make sure when you do the correct uh, calculations, 
there should be the same angle 45. If once you calculate the last one, 45, 20, 20, I have again marked it in red. So this value should be reached. When you calculate the last one, that means DA bearing, that plus 105 something plus or minus 180 should be equal to the measured bearing. So this is another checkpoint. This is another checkpoint. So the measured bearing should be again appear at the bottom. So that's why we have two ABs. We are starting with AB and finishing with AB to ensure that the bearing calculation, calculation is correct. Bearing calculation is Right. So, right. So this is uh, the uh, something uh, which we have to do for today. Right. So here I give you some work to complete, and I'll be continuing from there and in next session. So what you have to do? Please complete all these uh, bearings and then delta I, delta I know. So how you can calculate? Now for each line. For BC line, you have the bearing calculated and the length. So you have length that is L, the bearing that is phi. Delta E is, what is delta E? L sine phi, N is L cos phi. Now you type this one 59.33 sine this angle at delta E, the length and length into cos into phi is the delta n, right? You have L under the length column, you have phi under the bearing column. So you calculate L sine phi and L cos phi for all four lines. Clear? First you calculate the bearings and then with the measured lengths for all the lines. Now you can see length and bearing, they are line properties. So you have all entered in the particular line. BC, for BC, you have the bearing and length in the same row. Then calculate delta I, delta N and enter in front of that. So delta I, delta N is also line, line property. You cannot say delta I of point A. Delta I or delta N of point A cannot be explained. It should be delta I, delta N of AB. Delta E of AB, delta N of BC, likewise. You cannot say delta N of the latitude or departure of A. There should be a line. Yeah. There should be a movement. For that movement, you can calculate the displacement in east and displacement in north. Right? So please calculate. Or if Do you have any problem with the uh, calculators? Typing and calculating so these numbers. I will give you one for the checking. Yeah, I have used uh, Excel, not the calculator, right? So you can see the equation I have used, L7, L7 means the length, sine into the angle. The angle I have calculated by taking the uh, sum of the angles, right? So these things I, I will I explain, right? Then uh, I use a Excel sheet, so I can just copy and give you the answer, but I allow you to do, uh, do the calculation. For the first one, you can check, right? First one I use, uh, you, you, it is enough uh, that you calculate up to three decimals, right? Minus 43.988 uh, would be okay. Then plus 39.814 uh, would be okay. So we reduce.
calculating up to three decimal would be enough. Right? Use this as a sample and calculate the remaining with the calculator. I have a calculator with Excel. Right? Uh, you should be able to calculate with uh, calculator. Do you have any problem with the calculator? Typing and getting these values? Sign cos tan. In your calculator, those who have the calculator, right? You have a button with the degrees, minute, and seconds. If you want to type 86 degrees, five minutes, and 33 seconds. So how you how we calculate 86? This button 5. The button again 33. That button again. The same button. So if you want to put uh, 86 minutes and 5 seconds. We have to first say zero degrees because the first press of this button will take the degrees, right? If you press uh, 86, this one, it won't get any value. So you cannot double press, which is only single press. So you have to say zero degrees. The first press of this one will take the value in degrees and then 86 minutes, the same button and Right? So you have to type, let's say 59.333 sign. Then the angle, when you press the angle, you have to put the degrees and this button, minutes and this the same button and 33, the same button. Right? That will give you the sign or cos or any, any trigonometric uh, ratio of any angle. Right? Please make sure when you have when you are typing something with uh, even addition in the addition of these ones the angles when you do the uh, angle correction when you want to sum up you have to put the decrease minutes and seconds and add uh, when you are adding some only a second part you have to put zero decrease zero minutes right is uh, necessary otherwise you can put uh, all over the uh, minute parts uh, add and then uh, 120 or 60 will be one minute so that will be conveyed so you can use any format but if you have any question with the calculator please let me know right uh, so you can check with uh, the given values right and Please have all these delta i, delta n's, delta i's and delta n's of all the lines, and we will continue there from the uh, next week, so the next session, or oh, probably next week. Right? So by that time, please have these uh, values in the travel sheet. By that time, I try to upload this uh, video file. Right, and uh, convey to the others that, uh, that we are continuing because if they come without this, uh, they will be it will be a great for them, right? So, better please. Uh, so, I will at least uh, try to send the uh, lecture note, but let me miss uh, the video file for so that. I have to clear the uh, available one. Let's see whether it is possible, right? Uh, somehow, please uh, convey for them that we are continuing and ask them to do the uh, calculation and we are continuing the rest from the next week. Any question?